Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So you might have seen this device on my channel. This one is my OnePlus 5T. So currently this device is running on Android 10 and Android 10 is pretty good. It runs well on this device, no issue at all. But obviously it is running on pretty old software, like five years old. But Fortunately, there are custom ROMs available for this device, like up to Android 15 right now. Maybe in future, we will see Android 16 based ROM too. In this video, I will show you how you can update your device to Android 15. Not official way. We have to flash a custom ROM here. And if you have a spare device to try out, you can do that. Don't do it on your primary device because there is always a risk of breaking the device. If you break your device, you might not be able to recover it. This will be a three parts video. First of all, I will show you how you can unlock bootloader. Secondly, we will flash a TWRP. And finally, we will flash a custom ROM on our device. First of all, you need to backup all of your data because it's going to erase your device. So do it. And secondly, we have to prepare our device to unlock the bootloader. And in the setting about phone, we have to tap five times on build number. So one, two, three, four, five, and we have to draw our security pattern, pin, whatever. In the system, we will see an option called developer option. So we'll open and we have to enable the developer option. And also we have to enable OEM unlocking. Then we have to enable USB debugging. So done. And now we have to connect our device to our PC. So after connecting our phone to PC, we might see this kind of option. So we have to allow it. And on my computer screen, as you can see here, I have a folder called 5T and I have downloaded all the required files to flash a custom ROM on this device. So we got TWRP firmware for this device, ROM and GFs. So, so there are some ROMs which come with GFs. So you don't really need to flash GFs separately. But in this case, the ROM we are flashing here, that ROM not coming with GF, so I have to flash GFs after flashing the ROM. And also, these are the files we are going to use for our phone, but we have to install two more files on our PC to make connection between our PC and phone. So we have to install a software called Minimal Adivian First Boot. After installing the software, you will find the files here, as you can see here, Minimal Adivian First Boot. And another one is you have to install the driver for your device. So the file links will be in the description below. So you will find the files there. Now we have to open CMD here, as you can see here, we will to run the command actually. So as you can see here, terminal is open. Now we have to run a command called ADV devices to check our device is connected or not. Yes. So as you can see here, our device is connected for F464C53. Now we will command our device to boot into bootloader mode or first boot mode. So ADV reboot bootloader or first boot we can write actually first boot. So now our device will boot into first boot mode. So as you can see here it is in first boot mode. Now we can check. So first boot devices, if we run this command, as you can see here, our device is on first boot mode. Now we will run another command to unlock the bootloader of our device. So we will run first boot OEM unlock and we'll press enter. As you can see here, it is asking us to give permission to unlock the bootloader and we can use our volume buttons to do it. So unlock bootloader and confirm with the power button. You can see here, unlocking is done. And as you can see here, the bootloader is unlocked and software integrity cannot be granted. So the unlocking process is done and our device will boot into system now. And we have to do a few things again. Now it is wiping the device. As I said, you need to back up your data. Otherwise, you will lose all, your, all of your data. So it is booting now. Now we have to wait 
our device to boot into uh, system or we can proceed with our second step like flashing the TWRP. So I will let the device to boot into the system and then I will boot the device into first boot mode again and we'll flash our TWRP. So let's wait. So our device is rebooted now. Now we can check our device is unlocked or not. So you'll go again about phone, bit number and developer mode is unlocked. So as you can see here, developer option, enable. And as you can see here, OEM unlocking is grayed out. That means the device is unlocked. Now we can enable USB debugging again and allow it again. So now we will run the command again to boot our device into first boot mode to flash TWRP. So first of all, we will run ADV devices to check our device is connected or not. So as you can see here, device is connected. Now we will run the command ADV reboot first boot and enter. So our device will be in first boot mode. So now it's in fast boot mode as you can see here. Now we have to flash TWRP here. So to flash TWRP, we have to write a command fast boot. Fast boot flash recovery. And we will drag and drop our file. So we have our recovery file here. So TWRP and we'll drag and drop to our main terminal and now we can run the command enter and as you can see here the flashing process is done now we will boot into the twrp so to boot into twrp we can use our button here and also we can like command our device to boot so i will write the command first boot boot and we'll drag and drop again the twrp so as you can see here enter and our device will boot into TWRP. So as you can see here, the device is booting now. So TWRP here. Now we have to do few things here. So the, if this is your first time flashing custom ROM on your device or any other device, do one thing, take a backup of the system. So you can use either a USB drive because this device don't really have micro SD card slot. So you can use a USB drive. So you can use a USB drive to copy the TWRP file directly to your thumb drive. And later on, if anything goes wrong, you can just restore it. So now, we will wipe our device so format and we'll type yes so it will erase everything from our device as you can see here and wipe we can wipe data internal storage cache just wipe now now we will go to advanced section and use adb side load method so either you can copy the files into your thumb drive to flash the files or you can use adb side load method so these are the two ways you can do it because we don't really have SD card here. So we can't use SD card. So add a website loud and we can enable it. Now, so now if we check our device is connected or not, we can run this comment adb device says and as you can see here, it is connected in site load mode. Now we have to flash our firmware first. So we'll flash adb site load and we'll just drag and drop the file. So we have our file here. This is our firmware file. So we will flash this one first and enter. So now it is flashing the firmware as you can see. So done. Now we will flash our ROM. So again in ADB side load method, ADB site load and we will drag and drop our rom so the rom is here see a droid 15 and enter 
So as you can see here, it is installing the ROM. So it will take up to two or three minutes actually. It depends. As this ROM is not coming with GF, so it will be it will take less time than usual ROM. So we are using Seadroid 11.2. This is an official ROM for this device. And based on Android 15, as you can see here, the security patch level will be from February 5, 2025. So that's actually kind of good. Not really old that not really that old. And still flashing the ROM. So the flashing is done. Now we have to flash GS as this ROM does not come with GFs. So ADB side load again and we'll run command again ADB side load and we will drag and drop again. So bit gfs and run the command. So as you can see here, it is flashing gfs now. So flashing is done. Now we can disconnect our device from PC because we are done with PC. And we can disconnect. Now we have to reboot our device. So first boot will take five to six minutes sometime. So it's going to take a little more than usual time because it has to process all the firmware files and everything. So let's see how long it takes. And I will give you a quick glimpse of the ROM, how it is working or not. And the full review will be in the future video actually because this video will be too long if I review the ROM too. And I can't really review the ROM directly right now because I have to check it if it is working or not. So as you can see here, it is booting now. So the device is booted as you can see here. It didn't take long time actually, only maybe only two minutes. So I will go through the setup process. Next and we have to select the language. So Wi-Fi is working as you can see here, it can detect 2 GHz and 5 GHz network. As for now, I will skip these things. Skip. So let's see our fingerprint is working or not. So fingerprint is also working. So as you can see here, we can enroll fingerprint. Next, the face unlock is also a bubble, but I will do it later on. Light mode, light mode is unable now. Start it. So the device is booted completely. As you can see, here yeah, the application we are getting with the ROM. We are getting Play Store here because I have flash GFs. And as for as for camera, we are getting GCam Go. Let's see it is working or not. So it is working as you can see here. And in the setting, as you can see here, the NFC is working. So let me drop down the brightness. So as you can see here, NFC is working. And in the about phone, Android 15, as you can see here. So we have successfully flashed 115 ROM on this device and as far as I can see it is working well, no issue at all, pretty smooth as you can see and other application. So the full review of the ROM will be coming soon because I have to test the ROM and all the file links will be in the description below and step by step guide will be written there. So if you want to try on your device, you can try it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.